right, so this is our second recipe that we're doing and it's actually our savoury temper patties with a beautiful tamarind chutney to go with it. And this is to go with our microbiotic diet. So the temper I've already actually fried off in our olive oil and I've saved some of that olive oil back to be able to go through our other ingredients that we need to fry off. So let's have a look at our ingredients. We have our temper, which is all lightly golden brea. It's been nicely fried off. We got our finely chopped onion. Yes, guys, that's finely chopped, not really roughly chopped. We have our garlic. We have our fresh chili. We have our ginger. We have our organic flour. We have our soy sauce. This is actually a mushroom soy sauce, but even just normal soy sauce will be fine. And we have our potatoes that are also been diced up actually cook those, not so they're overcooked, just um, in boiling water with a little bit of salt. So that's all cold and ready to be used. So you can even do this the day before and have it in your fridge ready if you'd like to. Uh, our tamarind chutney actually have everything here. So we have um, some lime juice already squeezed, so just half a lime that I've used. We are going to do a pinch of cumin, a pinch of ground fennel, we also have our tamarind, uh, we have our ginger, uh, we have our brown sugar and some salt is just going to go in there so I might as well put that in there now. Chef, is that ginger just pickled or is no, it fresh? No, it's actually just fresh so all yeah. I've done is just use the microplane or the grater you could use if you're at home or obviously just finely chop that too. Right. You may find on your recipe as well that it reads that the tamarind needs to be soaked in water. This is if you're using the tamarind that's actually got seeds in it. So you're, you're actually all going to be given a tamarind paste. So you won't need to soak your tamarind at all in the water. You will have a product that you can use straight away. And this is really an all-in-one recipe. All of those ingredients are just going to be mixed together. So let's have a look at actually putting these little patties together. With the leftover olive oil that you have from frying up your tempeh, we're going to put a little into our fry pan. And don't have it too hot, everybody. We just want a nice uh, gold brown colour on our onions, our garlic, our ginger and our chilli. Chef, that tempeh that you fry, you just put the olive oil in a pan and, yes. and heat it up slightly and then just drop that diced up temper right. into there. And I just use a little holy spoon just to make sure that I've got it all on paper so I've drained off all that oil as well. Just yeah. want a nice crispy colour on it. You don't want it burnt, you don't want it under and soggy. You just want it hot enough to be able to just like to fry. So we can go in with our onion now. We can go in with our ginger, our garlic and our chili. Now remember, all nicely cut plates. It all looks pretty evenly cut to me. Yes. When I see it, so it's all going to cook nice. It is. And if you put it finely chopped as well, that looks like meat at the taste is going to be running through all of these patties as we mix everything together. Okay. Now we're going to put our beautiful smell coming off these. That chili was quite hot. So we could use, if we're at home, a non-stick pan would be okay. Yes. Or use a cast okay. iron pan or stainless pan. Yes. I just feel that maybe a frying pan is an easier option. Yeah. Every you've got a flame working. I can see that flame that you've got there is kind of medium to low, isn't it? Yeah. So you're not so trying to get any colour on those. Right. We're just literally going to be trying to pick up. Just to get all the flavours of the garlic and ginger in the chilli. Just like fried. And remember, if you've got your potatoes already cold and cooked, ready to go, it's going to be easy to mix it all together. Certainly smells good. It does. It's a shame that our camera doesn't have the smell element. No, it needs a nose, doesn't it? Okay, so there we go, into a nice clean bowl ready. Then we can add everything else in, temper a little bit of flour to bind it all, our cooked cold potatoes, remember don't overcook them just so they've got that nice kind of bite to them still and in with our soy sauce. And because we're remembering as well to make sure that we're being nice and clean and hygienic, I'm actually just going to grab blood so we can mix all of these together. Don't over mix it as well, we don't want those potatoes to break up too much. 
you can break them up a little bit just so it combines together, but we don't want mashed potatoes. We want a little bit of texture to this. So I'm just zooming in, Chef, to have a look in there. Yeah, look at that. Looks good. But that soy sauce, it turns it into that really nice kind of goldeny brown colour. Are you scrunching just, that a little bit? Yeah, or? I am. Just because it's almost like those potatoes are so perfectly cooked that when I actually grab that, can you see how well that's going to sit when we're going to fry those off into our little patties? It's like a little potato tempered cake, isn't it? Yeah. Nice description, Chef. Mm. All right, so there we go. Everything mixed in. So now we can start to lightly fry those. Uh, and make our chuck. Okay, so we now have our mix ready. We've actually mixed it all in now, ready to go. And I've just started to pan fry a couple already. But if you don't have cutters at home at all, there's nothing wrong with you actually putting that in your hand and making nice little patties just out of your hands, okay? So you don't always have to have uh, cutters to be able to get that round shape. Remember they're patties with that name. Just going to put our mix in. A little bit of oil in the bottom there and on a really low heat just to make sure we get the heat going inside. We want that little crispiness going on if you can see on those already. I've also got my plate ready with my garnish where I have some live wedges. Tamarind chutney is ready to go, which remember is all that all in one recipe there. Everything mixed in, so we can pop that on the side as a little dip in chutney. That chutney is so good. Ooh, thank you, Chef. Let's just wipe that bowl. There we go. So there's our chutney, nice and easy to remember that one. Turn this one over. Take the off. There we go. So we're just getting that nice crispiness going on the other side. But we can certainly plate these two up ready. We can put some fresh coriander up as well. So there goes a couple on there. And we're just going to finish it off with some freshness of some coriander and there we have our tamarind patties with our chutney. We're probably going to get a good four or five portions of patties out of that recipe. There we go, finished.